President Bunyang Warajit gives advice to the party committee of Vientiane when he addressed the body's 7th Congress, which ended on Thursday, October 29th. He said even though Vientiane's economy has soared to new heights over the past five years, the city's leaders should do more to ensure the capital develops in better ways. President Bunyang said even though Vientiane's economy has soared to new heights over the past five years, the city's leaders should do more to ensure the capital develops in better ways. He pressed, the progress made in the city's development under the leadership of the party committee of the previous Congress there was consensus about the various shortcomings, including the inconsistent use of legal measures in maintaining public security and social order. This led to the continuation of undesirable practices such as drug abuse, accidents, theft and disputes concerning land. The president urged the newly elected leaders of the city party committee led by Dr. Silabong Kutpaitun as secretary and Dr. Anupab Tunalom and Dr. Asapang Thong Sipandon as deputy secretaries to deepen their understanding of and act on the Politburo's resolution with regard to the development of Vientiane from 2020 to 2030. He also urged them to comply with the resolution on enhancing public security amidst changing circumstances. President Bunyang advised the party committee to put into practice the party's direction through detailed projects for implementation and realization each year and to create a livable city by fulfilling the six indicators of security, cleanliness, greenness, beauty, charm, and illumination. He said, the three indicators of security, cleanliness, and greenness should be achieved in the next five years. Vientiane must also strive harder to address and improve poor infrastructure, disorderly accommodation, densely populated communities, and traffic congestion in the town centre and the suburbs by 2025. A total of 357 party members representing the 21,800 members in the capital attended the meeting. According to a report issued at the meeting, the city's economy grew by an average of 9.1% over the past five years, with GDP reaching 224.6 trillion GIF and average income per capita rising to 6,004 US dollars, which is double the national average income per capita. Vientiane's GDP represents 30% of total GDP, with 40% of the state's revenue coming from the city, where poverty is close to being eradicated. The report also mentioned shortcomings in the city development, noting that despite the high rate of economic growth, the fulfillment of some goals such as a breakthrough in creating a more secure financial status had not progressed as desired. In addition, public debt was high and administration at the district and village levels did not receive sufficient income to balance expenditure. President Bunyang Wolaji said, adding, the budget allocated for the repair and construction of roads in urban areas and the suburbs was inadequate. Even though the city centre had undergone significant development, roads, public utilities and public services remained standard, while there was insufficient budget for urban services. Urban management and administration was largely ineffective and the goal of turning the capital into a green city had not been fulfilled, while there was a lack of strict measures to address issues around the extraction of natural resources and land development.